So, Father, may we know the title of this uh, musical album? The album is just called uh, The Yemen Series. And uh, what motivated you, Father, to come out with this musical album? In fact, it's a, it's a long story. The name Yemen is given by reverend sisters and priests and religious and everybody around here. I do not know how it came about. So when I get up to stage any show, they will just be shouting Yemen, Yemen, Yemen. So it became the name of, the, of my album. Yes, Father, this album is coming out at the time when you are celebrating 40 years as a priest. Can you share with us your experience as a priest for these past years? Well, I'm celebrating my life as well as my death because I have been sick several times in the 40 years and I would have died ever since. But when I die, I come back. When I die, I come back. So now I say that I am the one of the rare human beings to celebrate his death. So if after these 40 years I die, don't weep. Just celebrate as we are celebrating. And uh, you are dedicating this musical album to Father? I'm dedicating it to the Rugby Jubilee. It's an anniversary album. There are two albums, Yemen 1 and Yemen 2. And the Yemen one is about coronavirus. And then the second track is on Impress of the Priesthood. And then the last one is that despite all the wars and the illnesses, including coronavirus, we can still say Happy New Year. So that one is dedicated to this new year. A song was sung 40 years when I was celebrating my first mass in Shisong in 1982. And then I have revived the song again in 2022, which makes it 40 years. So that song is really in my heart. Praising God, praising our Lord Jesus Christ, and praising the Holy Spirit for directing me in these 40 years. And then the, the Christian people are happy and greeting me and rejoicing with me for these 40 years. Yes, Father, you mentioned a name of one of the priests serving in the Archdiocese of Bamenda, Monsignor Clemens Nzel. Why the mentioning of his name in your musical album? Monsignor Clemens Nzel was ordained priest in 1960. At that time, I was still a little boy, but we were able to follow his ordination, although I was not allowed to go into the hall or into the, into the cathedral. At that time, it was a parish church in Kumbu. That's where he was ordained, 1960. Then, after his ordination, he went to Meluf, which was an outstation of Kumbu. And in Meluf, this song was sung. Uh, in, uh, to praise the priesthood and to uh, give the meaning of priesthood that the priest is supposed to preach and also to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. So we sang this song as little kids all over Kumbo. And that is why the song is still in my heart. And thanks be to God that Monsignor Clemens is still alive. So if you also interview him, he may have some little thing to say about why I have chosen this song. I'm very surprised that a thing like that is coming to us. The end of my departure from this life. <laughs> For that, I am very grateful, and uh, the very fact that somebody thought of that and the reality itself will give me full pleasure. And I thank you, say thank you. Okay, Jose, thank you very much. Then I also want to say that the last track is the one that is really very close again to my heart because. My uncle, who coincidentally has the same name with me, Henry, he was the director or manager of uh, a radio Buya in the West Cameroonian days, as we hear in the music. And he was a wonderful person to us. Because at that time, when you hear someone speak in country talk in the radio, you will not eat again, say you have heard it not to talk of talking about your own village and talking about your own people and even talking about the traditional Jews that were in our compound. He 
came and he studied them and he explained to the world what they were all about and we listened to him in the radio. So after that, he started to promote the Green Revolution in the radio and he will ask everyone to take a hoe and to go to the farm and to, to work. That is how uh, Dalila, a young man in Kumbo there, living in Hausa quarters, decided to sing this song with his guitar. And I was, he was uh, begging my guitar and we were playing in the 1970s. And it is wonderful that that song has come back to life now and I have decided now to bring it up in the way it is to praise and to do it in honor of our uncle who is now resting in peace. Yes, despite all the challenges encountered in the realization of this project, a word of appreciation to all who contributed to the success. I have a lot to think about, not even to say. And the first person that has really pushed me to realize this work is Mr. Marinos Quejo of uh, Radio Evangelium and Mr. Clovis. They have been very, very vibrant. And at the time we were beginning, I was not what I am now, but they pushed me to become an artist, a real artist. And then another person that uh, is really very deep in my heart is uh, DJ Okoro, who is the, the man who has the musical studio, the studio in Tarikun, where we have done the recording. And then every other person who is taken part I don't want to be calling all the names. Yes, Father, the album is out there, and uh, congratulations, Father. We wish you the best as you, uh, you continue to be inspired to actually produce more musical tracks. Thank you very much. To God be the glory. <laughs> congratulations, Father. Thank you. 40 years is not 40 minutes. In fact, we should be thankful to God. I am coming to congratulate you. A nice song. Yes. Just hold it firm and ahead, ahead. Very, very water tiny. More was on that you, Henry. Do you want him? He was some. Alan Sigiam way. Was on that you, Henry. Do you want him? He was some. Alan Sigiam way. And very, very water to Tatany. And very. Very water tanyo, was on touch to Henry. Do you want him? He was soon. Alan Sikiam Pay was on touch to Henry. Do you want him? He was soon. Alan Sikiam Pay. Father deny any shatty word, he knew Father deny any shatty Bombena, eh, hey, hey, Bombena, Vesheria, hey, hey, 